In this video series, we will learn about autonomous AI agents. In this video, we will understand the high level concepts and from the next video, we will build uh, a number of solutions using a framework called Crew AI. Okay. Now, let's not worry about the formal definition of uh, agent because it is still evolving. But the easy way to understand them uh, is they are digital workforce. Okay. For example, let's say we are running a company. Now we have some employees, right? Uh, for example, uh, let's say the company has a researcher, analyst, content creator, uh, some software developers, the project managers, coordinators, uh, etc. Right? Of, of course, this is not exhaustive list, but let's say we have a company and we have a workforce. Now, because this is human workforce, they have a brain to understand the instructions and define uh, the goals for themselves and carry out the work, day-to-day -day work, right? And the workforce, this also need to be skilled workforce, right? For example, uh, somebody may be able to uh, do uh, online research, the other one do some, let's say, financial uh, data analysis, maybe one uh, person create uh, uh, the images, uh, logos uh, for branding, etc. And someone might be doing uh, some language uh, translation, uh, maybe text to audio, audio to text, so on and so forth, right? So these are different sets of skills uh, people uh, in different roles have uh, to achieve the company's objectives, right? And obviously the company has uh, a company carry out certain tasks on a day to day basis, right? For example, it could be marketing campaign, maybe a trip planning, stock recommendation, depending on what the company is. Now let's come back to AI agents, right? So the agents are simply a digital workforce. Okay. The agents similar to how we have our brain, uh, which is used to understand and carry out the tasks, agents use LLMs, large language models to understand the tasks given to them or even to define the tasks reason and take some actions uh, so and so forth to complete the tasks etc okay similar to human workforce the agents also need some skills in this agent language we call it tools right for example again uh, to do some research uh, an agent it need to have access to web so that it can gather the information Maybe it need to analyze some financial data. So it need to uh, 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 have access to maybe some program, programmatic tools or calculator, uh, image creation tools, so and so forth, right? So similar to how humans have skills, the AI agents, they have tools, okay? And now depending on which framework we use and how we define our task, we can either give a very high level overall objective now, within this framework, we can have multiple agents interacting with each other to carry out this overall objective. Or we can have uh, a single agent if the task is very simple, like for example, create a blog post, we might have just one agent, right? Uh, so these are the four high level uh, important concepts in any AI agent framework, okay? So at the core, we have an AI, AI agent which will have a persona, which is specialized uh, in doing certain tasks. The reasoning capability and understanding capability for an agent, it comes through an LLM, similar to uh, a brain for a human being, right? Similar to skills for a human being, AI agents, they have the tools to carry out a specific tasks. And finally, to this agent system, we give an overall objective or tasks. Right? So the AI agents, they communicate with each other, they prioritize, they coordinate, etc. And they finally deliver the output. Now this output or artifacts can also be in multiple formats. For example, we might be developing an AI system to uh, generate a software, to develop a software, or maybe to generate some piece of text, or it could be a document, or it could even be simple yes or no. For example, let's say we, we, we build a system for quality control and quality monitoring. 
so the system uh, the framework monitor uh, the process and it finally say whether uh, uh, it, it's a pass or fail the quality control is pass or fail right i know this is too a high level but let's understand uh, through a simple example okay so here we have a very high level objective which is to write a blog post on some uh, let's say cutting edge technology uh, like uh, ai okay now how we might uh, do this okay let's say we want to have two agents one agent which does the research which basically goes to the web which basically collect the scientific papers etc uh, to gather the information now let's say we are writing this blog post for general audience right so one agent the researcher agent is collecting the data and then the writer agent which is specialized in simplifying complex concepts uh, into uh, uh, any layman person can understand so we have a second agent which is the writer okay now we need some tools uh, so basically all we need is a web search tool right to gather the information so for example one example could be this duck duck search i mean there are a number of uh, uh, web search tools uh, one of the famous ones is this duck duck search and then here we have two tasks right one task is to research the information gather the information and the second one is to synthesize the information uh, in a blog post that's the right one and then we have uh, llm so we have multiple options for llms uh, some of the models like Ch Ch uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4, etc., developed by OpenAI and Olama. This is not really a language model, but if you want to run any LLMs locally, Olama developed a framework where we can download large language models and run them locally. Okay, so this is how it might look like, right? So again, our overall objective is to create a blog post on some cutting edge. Uh, technology uh, in a layman uh, language right so that uh, anyone can understand so this is how it might look like right for example we have two agents or the workforce one is a researcher and the second one is a writer now the llm uh, the agent they need a brain which is nothing but uh, these large language models right so here we might be using open ai models or uh, uh, the models like llama to mistral uh, so and so forth right so to an agent we provide uh, the llms and then we need some tools now the tools in this case uh, uh, for example could be a web search tool uh, which is this duck duck go uh, just as an example and we might want to read some scientific papers so we have a tool called archive tool uh, using which we can uh, extract uh, the scientific papers information right so we have two tools here and then we have two tasks right the first one is uh, the research task and the second one is uh, 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 the blog post writing task now as i mentioned here uh, the goal it can be just a very high level or we can define it uh, into tasks depending on which framework uh, we are using and how specific we want to be so in this case uh, the overall objective we break it into two tasks one is gathering information and the second one is writing the blog post okay so this is how we connect the pieces now both the agents require an llm now this llm it don't have to be the same one right uh, one agent it could be uh, it, it might be uh, trained on understanding uh, the scientific papers. So maybe for uh, the researcher, we uh, assign uh, the scientific uh, LLM. Whereas for this writer, we assign a more of a common uh, like GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT 4 like uh, uh, LLM, right? Then we have two tools. Uh, first, gathering the information. Now we assign these two tools only to the researcher, right? Because only the researcher is going out connecting to the web and gathering the information from uh, the web as well as uh, the scientific papers uh, from archive. Now the writer, it don't need to have access to these tools. Of course, we can give them the access, but the researcher is collecting the information and the researcher pass that information to the writer. Now the writer simply synthesizing or creating this blog post in an easy to understand manner right so it doesn't read any additional tools other than llm because the llm can understand uh, the text provided by the researcher and can write a blog post right so that's why the tools we are supplying only to the researcher and then here we have two tasks the researcher 
and the blog post write. So the research task we assign to research agent, uh, write task we assign to writer one. So when we start the process, we kick off the process with the researcher agent. It understand what the task is using LLM. It go out to the web, it collect all the information and pass that information to the writer agent. Now writer agent, it understand what its task using this task definition and it use this LLM to synthesize the blog post using the content provided by the researcher agent. And finally, in this case, the output is a blog post. Okay. In the next video, we will implement this solution using Crew AI. Okay. Uh, I hope the high level concepts are clear. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.